Arthur Parsons, I'm uh, the game director at Traveller's Tales, the developer of uh, LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 to 7. Uh, just going to show you a few things and tell you a few things about uh, the follow-up to LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 to 4. So, LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 to 7 is the conclusion to the story, the last three books, the last four films, and takes us on, a, obviously, the journey to the ultimate showdown with, with Lord Voldemort. The demo here at E3 is halfway through Year 7, so we've come to Godric's Hollow as Harry and Hermione, looking for some clues, looking for some information. Um, I'm going to run through some real quick new features because uh, for the sequel, uh, we've basically got a load of new mechanics. So Hermione has a, a cool bag, the, the bag she gets in Deathly Hallows. She can rummage around, pretty much pulls out a load of random cool stuff. So in this case, something to uh, melt snow, so a giant hairdryer. You know, it's, it's one of these sort of cool mechanics where we can just have fun with stuff. Hermione then going to just you know, quickly check out the grave, is it the right one, yes, no, obviously this isn't because I know it's not. We'll run over here and we have an awesome new mechanic which is Defindo. So basically you zap the, uh, zap the Defindo wall which is the red Lego and you're then able to trace and cut an outline in the Lego and then the Lego pieces fall out and you can build the shape you've made. So throughout the game we have like hundreds of these walls in there and some of them make wild wacky stuff like flying lawnmowers or you know we have brooms that are actually hoovers all kinds of stuff like that this one's made a log burning stove so you know again i can melt some snow check the grave yes no i'll go on my way and i've, I've actually started the demo in uh, free play because everybody loves free play and lego harry potter is five to seven has all the characters everyone wanted to play from the first game you know People like Bellatrix Lestrange, uh, I should have, there's Femira Greyback, who's awesome, uh, Death Eaters, uh, Ron, who's had a new hairdo, uh, Lego have released a new minifig. Uh, Ron's actually got a new pet as well, so instead of Scabbers, we have Pigwidgeon, who's uh, basically an owl that can't fly, so we gave him Biggle Goggles, because that's, that's pretty funny. Um, who else have I got? Uh, Professor Lupin, who's now got a new suit for this game, and... Uh, Again, he can turn into a werewolf. And uh, again, every character has an ability. So Professor Lupin is a werewolf, he's got super strength, and he can dig. Um, up here, because obviously the uh, Weasleys play a big part in 5 to 7, so we have Weasley joke boxes. So if anyone tries to use them that's not a Weasley, they get a prank played on them. And anyone that is a Weasley, well, they're going to get something that's useful. So if I just quickly go in here as, uh, as Ron, then I'm going to be able to... Uh, use this Weasley firework and then so we've got fireworks we have sticky sneakers so you can walk up walls we have swamp in a boxes the Weasleys have got a, like awesome range of like cool jokes and tricks uh, which is really good mechanic wise it gives us lots of scope to play with stuff I'm just gonna quickly hop through here down here we've got a uh, dig spot so uh, being a werewolf I can obviously dig stuff up and what I'm gonna dig up here at first glance is absolutely nothing um, but it actually is invisible Lego. It's, uh, again, one of the new mechanics. So if I go over to the Quibbler dispenser, bang, I'm gonna pull on my uh, Elton John shades, which are Spectre specs, and then I can run through here. And with those specs, I can actually see the invisible Lego down there. So this then allows me to interact with it and build. Uh, and this is just a bit of free play. So uh, fiction fans will know that in Godric's Hollow Graveyard, there's a statue of Harry's mum and dad. So it's more just, you know, get some studs, get a collectible, uh, and be on your way. If I quickly switch to Ron, we also have the Deluminator this time around, which again he gets from Dumbledore's will. This allows you to absorb lights, and then you can basically take these lights and place them in other locations. So if I quickly run across the graveyard through here, there's a, a plug-in spot, so I can drop that in there, which is gonna melt some ice for me. And if I uh, grab everybody's favorite Emma Watson, we, uh, we can rummage through the bag, what's she gonna get, what's she gonna get? What would you expect? Obviously, a giant gramophone, which is awesome. If I crank that up, and again, this is just a bit of free play. We thought we'd have some dancing ghosts. Everyone loves dancing characters. So, um, the game in general, we have uh, it's a kind of a bigger version of the first game. You know, you can wander around London, you can explore outside of Hogwarts. You know, we have the ultimate battle, you know, Hogwarts is going to get smashed, you know, the giants, the giant spiders, they're all going to basically, you know, take, take Hogwarts to pieces and, uh, you know, the, the final battles are pretty epic.